In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these really easy and cheap modular walkways and platforms. The key principle behind this is that for the main tower, we're going to be using your standard sort of uh, tin or can. Um, I'm using Heinz soup, but you can use whatever you want. Um, and then for the base and the top of these cans, we're going to put a CD on them. And then we're going to stick like a wooden dowel straight through all of that. Obviously for the platforms themselves, we're actually using foam board. So really cheap. And you can see this is very sturdy. I can literally just pick it up with the top bit. And this, you can disassemble it and store it away very easily. Before I show you how to make it, if you do get value from these videos, do please consider supporting me on Patreon. It really would help. Something just as little as like $1 can really help push the channel forward, be it with me getting like better equipment, or in a lot of cases, just getting new materials to play around with and to make new videos for. If you don't want to do that though, the content is always free. Please just consider like liking and subscribing otherwise. Other than that though, let's get into how we build this. The whole design of this project hinges on the concept, which is basically we're going to take some tins or cans of your regularly sized cans and we're going to glue CDs onto the tops and bottoms of them and then we're going to stick like a dowel through the CD hole through both ends of the can and that will in a sense manage to hold everything together so it's a, it may sound a little bit weird at first but once you see it in action I think you'll understand so the key thing here is the size of the dowel the dowel is 14 millimeters I recommend not going up to 15 millimeters which is actually the standard size hole of a CD but if you do that you'll have very very tight fits um, whereas the 14 millimeter allows a little bit of leeway it also helps that at my B&Q they easily sell 40 millimeter dowels where they don't really sell 50 million millimeter dowels anyway you take your cans and you peel off the well you empty the contents of the can whether we're eating the contents or by just disposing of it one way or the other then you wash your can because we don't want any food residual in there please 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 be careful do not cut yourself on the rim of these cans they can be pretty sharp i have done that before and i do not recommend it i did not cut myself this time thankfully once you've got your can you've washed it we're going to take a can opener and open the bottom of the can as well so it's actually open at both ends this generally will leave a very sharp edge i actually took like a stick and bent down any of the sharp edges uh, but please be careful if you do that for these walkways and platforms we're actually going to do two different types of base or tower sections one is going to be the bottom tower so we're going to use a big CD for that and then the other type is going to be anything other than the ground floor basically and now for the ones that is anything other than the ground floor I'm going to be using mini CDs now there's a reason for that and that is because I want to put a ladder on the can and have a hole where you can climb up the like the main structure and get to the the platform above it if you use the big CDs you can do that but it, you'll have to have a slightly different design so this is why I went with like mini CDs for the top and above and for the base of it I only have a big CD at the very bottom just to make sure it's not going to tip pull over. To glue my mini CDs to the can I would actually recommend following Wirelock's method here which is to get some foam board off cuts and to glue them onto the inside of the can using hot glue but do be careful because metal conducts heat very well so it will travel through the can very easily so you hot glue the foam board to the can and then you should really hot glue the foam board to the CD. Now you, for the mini CDs it's about the, the same size as the can so it doesn't really matter. Once you glue one side that's fine you don't have to check it too much. It's when you seal it in with the other end of the can that you need to take a bit of your dowel and make sure that you can get a straight line through both of the CDs. Now it doesn't matter how tight it is as long as your dowel will go through both ends of the CD you are completely fine. So that's for the top parts of the tower. For the base of the tower we're going to do something very similar on, on the top of that base we're actually going to do a mini CD but on the very base of it we're going to do a big CD. Before we glue the can to the big CD there's a couple of things that I would suggest. Now instead of using foam board here and gluing them to the inside of the can what I actually use are stones from the garden. The reason I use stones is because I want the base to be weighty so that it's less likely to topple over and doing this I think you pretty much eliminate all all chance of that happening. So what I actually do is take my stones and I hot glue them to the the rim of the CD. Now again be careful metal conducts heat very well and then this step here I actually believe is pretty crucial to this working at all heights and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some foam board and I'm going to stick a pen through the foam board 
and then I'm going to stick the dowel through the foam board and I'm not actually like trying to cut it a perfect circle. I'm literally just taking the dowel and forcing it through this foam board and I'm going to do that several times and then what I'm going to do is cut out the foam board so it's a very small sort of circle because when we're gluing the stones you need to make sure you've got room for the dowel and what we're going to do here is basically the little bits of foam board we're going to glue straight over the circle so i glue all the little bits of foam board together so i think i do three and then i glue that to the cd now the way that i do that is i literally just put the three bits of foam board onto the dowel then just glue them one at a time making sure i'm not accidentally gluing them to the dowel and then i will literally put glue on the bottom of my foam board and put the cd over the dowel as well that is basically going to be used so that when we put our dowels through all of our towers that it's got a nice little base to sit in because the cd is so the bottom of the cd is so thin it'll never actually hold the stick in and it could be wobbly whereas if you do this you won't have that problem and then it's time to glue the cd onto the base of the tower so you need to make sure that the rocks don't interfere with the foam board and you need to make sure that you've got a nice clear path for the dowel to go through but you just simply put hot glue on your stones and then glue that to the CD. It's better if you can measure it so you get it perfectly centered, but it doesn't really matter too much. I personally glued the base on first and then I did the mini CD on top. Whichever way around you do it, you again, you just need to take your dowel, any size of the dowel, and just make sure you can get a nice straight hole between both CDs. That will make sure that your walkway will work perfectly. And then we come to the platforms themselves. I'm not sure I recommend going with my template, which I'll leave in the description. I should have probably have done something that was a set length of the uh, wall. What I actually did was make it so that my platform perfectly fit on an A4 sheet of paper, just because I want it to be as big as possible. Possibly a bit of a mistake. Anyway, I actually do a octagon with eight sides. And um, yeah, I just cut that out because I have a template. I literally just cut that out into some card, put that on some foam board and cut that out. It basically means that my edges are about nine centimeters, but not exactly. I sort of wish that I did like an exact length uh, side length here but it is what it is. I cut out my octagon, you could easily do a hexagon, you could easily do a square, you could probably do a triangle but I think that would look ugly. You could do whatever shape you wanted but you cut it out and then you need to find the center of it. In this case my entire length of it, my width of it is 21 centimeters so that I know I just do 10 and a half. I draw a couple of lines to make sure I find an exact center point and then I do what we did before. I take my pen, I just force my pen straight through the middle and then I force the dowel straight through the middle. You could try and cut a hole but this bit's going to get covered up so I'm not actually too worried about it. Um, it's actually better if you force the dowel through it so you get a nice tight fit but you know it's not that important. It's just a case of cutting out several walk several platforms. Um, I think I do like six but you could do whatever number you wanted. A little bit of a testing out. Uh, even without um, everything being finalized it, you could easily have some weight on the edges of these platforms but really we're going to solve that problem by sort of fastening it all in together which I'll get to in a moment. So for the actual platform I don't want it to just be a octagon I wanted a bit of design on it. Now here I sort of mess up a little bit but it's up to you to decide what you want to do here. Um, I print my template onto some card and essentially I just cut out the middle sections of it now you'll see here I have a little bit of a, a smaller rim. That gap there is where my ladders are going to come up and where you're going to be able to get through to the platform above. I recommend doing the template first, cutting out all the bits that you want and then just sort of put that onto your foam board, mark out where you want the hole for the ladders to be and then cut that out. So what I actually do here, which is a bit of a mistake, on the like edges of the platforms I think oh it'll be a good idea instead of having card what if I have these magnetic strips that way if I want a walkway they'll just be able to sit on. Now I do I do cut out the magnetic strips and in theory it's a good idea and um, I glue them they're all the same size as the walkway pretty much in thickness and size and all that kind of jazz but when I came to like test it it wasn't really a strong enough connection so I, I end up not using that as a way of connecting the walkways but if you do have magnetic magnetic strips you, you could do that. I also recommend here cladding the foam board with 5mm strips of card. Um, very easy to do, just clad all the foam board so basically we can spray it and it just looks better. So that's the platforms pretty much done but now that I don't like the idea of the 
foam board just sitting on top of the walkway i actually want to make these connections and again here i look for inspiration from wylock what i actually do is end up making these specifically designed like connectors out of chipboard i will leave a link to some chipboard that you can get in the uk you could do this with foam board but because foam board is five mil thicker it would look a little bit uglier now all i do here is i cut like two centimeter width strips uh, that are five centimeters in length but then I also cut out two sections that are one centimeter in length and I'm going to glue them together so that basically there's a three centimeter hole. Now that hole is what we're going to use as the connector. Now what I would recommend here is to use like a master jig or template or whatever the word is which uh, you cut out that is three centimeters and just every time that you make one you make sure that it's at least three centimeters. You're going to have some manufacturing error here so I do not worry about it too much but I'm going to put one of these like connections on every single side of every single platform. Now I've done octagons which means it's eight and then I did six of them which means it's six times eight which I'm not 100% sure what that is. I think it's 48 but basically I made a lot of them and you could do these on the uh, the walkways as well but yeah there's a lot of these and they're all it, they don't take too long but you need to make a lot of them if you're going to put them on each platform and each walkway and stuff we know how we're going to connect to the platforms now what we actually need is to make the walkways and to do this i have a template again i've got like a thin version of it and a wider version of it and um, the length of it is essentially three times the length of each of the platforms minus a little bit because i couldn't get the design to work so it's the length i actually have i think is 27.5 centimeters long if you really want to do some good maths then you know make your own but otherwise you can just follow the template um, and all I simply do is I print that out onto some thick card cut out the little gaps where I want cutting out now I don't use something like uh, the knitting mesh sometimes called granny grain simply because I think I've seen it a lot on a lot of different projects and I didn't want to go that um, I didn't want to use it here basically so I'm basically trying to create a design that doesn't involve it. It's the same thing I did for the platforms themselves. For the walkways, I do the exact same thing. Again, make sure you card your walkways with card. We don't really want any of the foam bits showing. And then what I do is I cut out a three centimeter wide bit of chipboard that I think is about five centimeters long. And we're basically going to glue them onto the ends of the walkways so that the they will connect pretty nicely just take a little bit off the end so that you know it avoids um, wear and tear like clip the edges of the chipboard and go it on using some pva make sure that your actual connector will go into the holes because of that manufacturing error that we spoke about and we're ready to make sure that our walkways are actually pretty solid and the what i'm going to do here is cut the dowels to specific lengths so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut ones that are made for platforms that are once one tall two tall and three tall and what I, the way I'm going to actually hold it down is by simply using uh, bottle tops so coca-cola bottle tops from plastic bottles that kind of thing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the walkway and a can so that that's the exact height that one layer would be because it's basically the the base of the tower plus one bit of the platform and I'm going to put my little bottle top on top of it and just mark that with a pen that's for size one i'm also going to do that for size two and i'm also going to do that for size three and um, then we just need to glue the dowel well you need to cut the dowel which i do outside because it's pretty messy and then we need to glue those dowels to the bottle tops and i simply do this with hot glue i literally just pour hot glue into the bottle top and then stick in the stick and um, that'll pretty much hold it very nicely and firmly i've not had any problems with that and um, here's an example of just a uh, one height some walkway in between with a lot of weight in the middle absolutely no problems no tipping over no anything like that it's pretty damn sturdy so for the ladders we're going to be borrowing the idea from eric's hobby workshop again which is using these plastic like tennis rackets that you can get very cheaply off ebay and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some card make sure i cut that to the size of the cans so that you know between the little rims of the cans make sure that cuts the size of the can and then i'm going to glue the tennis racket bits to that card and then glue that card to the can simply because in the past i've had problems with the gluing the racket straight to the can an optional step here is to create some stirs now again there'll be a template for this 
you need to measure the height of your tower and then either minus off what you want your top layer to be. There's a lot of mass here if you really want it to be complicated. If you followed exactly what I've done, you can just use a template. Otherwise, um, I'd suggest just trying to work this one out yourself. Basically, you need you, you probably want like an even number of steps and you want to have a gap between the steps and you need to have the runners, two of the runners and you know as many steps as you want. I'm using form board here but you could use chipboard but if you use chipboard you need a different template because that top step is on my version it's five millimeters from the top so that it exactly aligns with the rest of the platforms. As I said it can be pretty complicated if you have if you need any help with this just message me on Facebook or something like that. So I cut two of them out on a form board and then I cut out all the steps. I then clad the whole thing with card because I really don't want any of the foam board showing. For my stirs here, I'm actually going to be going with 8cm wide stirs because that's the same size of my actual big walkways, which means I put the runners about 5cm apart from each other, um, or 1.5cm uh, inwards from each end of the step. Pretty easy to do, it's just foam board and card, and um, yeah, looks pretty fine. Again, for the top step, I'm going to be putting on one of those connectors, so that's just a three centimeter wide bit of chipboard uh, again five centimeters long trim off the edge make sure it'll fit into the uh, walkways so i'm outside now ready to spray it uh, in the garden trying to trying to not get it on the grass and you can see i've built a little three two and a one and i still have like some walkways um over and some um some of the actual base of the towers yeah i'm going to spray it with a mixture of like uh grays, blacks and whites. I'm going to go black first, then grey, then a little spritz with white on the highlights. Then I'm probably going to disassemble it and then do the cans. Um, on this first pass through I'm actually going to try and aim on like the platforms and the walkways and then I'll do the cans. And I'll probably do the cans black and then dry brush them with like metal. But really simple setup but you know it's it's quite a big setup so um, even though there's like only a handful of pieces necessarily, still takes up quite a lot. But I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, and now for painting, I literally just take all this stuff into the garden and spray it. First I try and spray it black, then I try and spray it grey, and then I highlight with a little bit of white. I try and actually just spray the cans black with the platforms mainly being grey. Uh, I used a couple of... I used... I pretty much used one full tin of grey paint on this one, so it will take um, it will be a lot of paint. You could very easily do it with a brush, but um, yeah, I'm lazy and just wanted to spray it. Uh, for the cans, I then dry brush them with a metallic silver, which is interesting because I'm basically painting the metal cans to look like metal, but it is what it is. You could use the pattern that I made for my fuel depot which I'll try and leave a link for you could use that to try and hide the fact that they're cans however I you know pretty lazy and just wanted them to look the way that they do I think they have a nice like industrial look I dry brushed them silver then I got a bit of orange and a bit of brown sponged on some like rust effect and then gave it a black wash I did try to give my platforms a bit of a black wash but because there wasn't really any texture um, it didn't work very well. So what I actually did was I got a bit of a darker spray off camera and just gave them a bit of a spritz of a darker grey. And that's pretty much it. So these module walkways are pretty damn cool in my opinion. You can actually assemble them from the constituent pieces to a full board in I think I timed myself and I think it took me about 2 minutes and 40 seconds to go from it just being all laid out on the table to having a complete board. And I think that's pretty damn cool. I personally think that it looks fine as it is, but there are so many little bits and pieces and additions that you could make to this. For example, I didn't do any like railings or barriers or anything like that. They would be very easy to add. You could do them with foam board, you could do them with metal wire. There's, using that sort of like uh, system where it would just slot in or clip on, you could very easily make whatever you wanted. The reason that I didn't is I just wanted to get the videos released as, uh, as soon as possible but yeah and uh, generally I play Star Wars and in Star Wars they don't really have you know 
health and safety walkways <laughs> they just have them so you can fall off very easily and um, but yeah so much you could do so many different variations there's you, the world is your oyster when you make these the core principle of just having the can with the cds on the top and the bottom um i think is pretty damn good with the dough going through it pretty damn sturdy and um i've personally gone with that little hole in them so i can always have a ladder so that every platform is available and you can get to it easily in game it's very simple there's not that much measuring involved in this i think it looks pretty decent let me know your thoughts if you did enjoy this video do consider supporting me on patreon or you can always just like and subscribe that would be very helpful thank you very much have a most beautiful day goodbye